it feels like injustice that there are so many people in need and so many people doing without um, medical formulas um, when so many so many other things are covered and taken care of. Medical foods are their treatment for PKU. It's just like a, a diabetic has insulin. That's how you treat diabetes. Medical foods is how you treat PKU. It's their medicine. Medical foods is what prevents brain damage in my two children. PKU is a rare brain-threatening disorder where people can't process one of the amino acids that makes up protein. You have a genetic mutation where your body cannot break down one amino acid into another. Phenylalanine is an essential amino acid and in nutrition speak that just means your body can't make it for itself. If you're not put on diet as a newborn, you're gonna have severe brain damage and suffer severe intellectual disability. PKU is sort of the poster child for newborn screening. Newborn screening was developed because of PKU. Newborn screening started in the early 1960s when Robert Guthrie figured out that there was a simple way that we could test newborn babies for this condition. Patients with PKU who would otherwise become mentally retarded would have more normal neurological function if they were put on low protein diets. Babies who have PKU need to have therapy for life through careful management, clinic visits, some blood monitoring, uh, and availability to medical foods. These patients can grow and develop normally. Or about 70 to 80 percent of their diet is dependent on a special formula which we use the term medical food. If you take away all of the foods that a person with PKU can't have, you're left with practically nothing. Specialty low protein foods, these are specially manufactured to have less than one gram of protein per serving, and that allows that person to have a good variety of foods and also to have enough food to not be hungry. Because if a child is hungry, they're gonna eat, whether they're supposed to or not. You're hungry when you have um, PKU, you're, you're, you're hungry pretty much all the time. Medical foods to treat PKU are not prescription drugs. And even though medical foods have been used to treat PKU for more than 50 years, most private as well as public insurance programs will not cover them. The average cost of medical foods for an adult male who is 18 years old is about $18,000 a year. That's the wholesale cost, and that's just the formula. The low protein foods is usually about an additional $5,000 a year, and many times these are not covered by insurance. My husband and I lived in Tennessee a couple of years ago. We had moved there for my first job and had a lot of difficulty getting formula. Moving back to Alabama a couple years ago, I've still had the same problem. My insurance will not cover my formula, and my formula costs um, as much as my rent on my house. We're thinking about starting a family, and we can't save, we can't prepare ourselves for the expense of having another family member when we're having to give um, our rent twice, essentially, every month. So there's an additional condition which is related to PKU when women have PKU and become pregnant. When I found out I was pregnant, it was both exciting and terrifying at the same time because you're now responsible. It's not just your PKU, you're responsible for a baby that is growing and its health. You have to control your blood fee levels and if those blood fee levels are not controlled, it will result in maternal PKU syndrome with the baby. And what that is, is the effects on the baby are um, interuterine growth restriction, microcephaly, congenital heart anomalies, and developmental delay. I wasn't planning on having kids. I was just turned 20 when I got pregnant with my first child, and I was off diet and I hadn't taken my formula in a couple of years. Medicaid didn't want to pay for the formula, and of course they don't pay for the foods, the low protein foods. I was struggling with trying to get the Medicaid to cover it, and I was pregnant, and I needed it then. 
My youngest son, Charles, he has microcephaly. He has a lot of midline problems, like he was born with one tooth instead of two front teeth. His uh, nose, he's had 13 surgeries on his nose. When he was trying to drink his bottle, he couldn't breathe through his nose because his passageways were closed because of maternal PKU syndrome. It just kind of bothers me that it's so hard to get the formula. Even when you're pregnant, these mothers need it or their, their children are gonna have a lot more issues. The Medical Nutrition Equity Act is a bill that's before Congress right now that would require all private insurance as well as public insurance programs to cover the cost of medical foods with no age limits, uh, no limits on gender for inherited metabolic disorders like PKU as well as uh, some digestive disorders. Medical Nutrition Equity Act is a must. It will assure access to the medical foods to the families who need it. To be off diet is to be sentenced to decline. If people were able to get the coverage that they needed for their formulas and everything, I would be ecstatic. I know that I would definitely be able to be myself again because you're not yourself when you're not on, on your diet or on your formula. Imagine your child having this disease and how it would feel to you to have all of these additional financial burdens placed on you when you're struggling to cope with raising this child appropriately so that he or she doesn't feel like they have a handicap and can be normal and have a productive life, even though they have to do all of these special things with their diet. Patients with PKU who are poorly treated and become marginally competent adults uh, confer a much greater cost on the country in terms of productivity than the therapy would ever be. I, I just think that 55 years after we invented newborn screening, to not have formula for all patients is really a, a terrible thing in the country that we, uh, that we think America is.